EA Sports. It's in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, courtesy of EA Sports World of Boxing and The Warehouse, here now are the fighters for tonight's bout. From Louisville, Kentucky, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. From Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Smoking Joe Frazier. That bell means it's time to start this fight. He gets popped with a hard shot. The only thing sharper than Ali's fist is his brain. Remember the rope-a-dope? This man's a genius in the ring. Two hard punches crash into their target. Ali's found an early opening and unleashed a big combo. Nice fast combination for Ali. I like his footwork out there tonight. Speed guys need that extra conditioning so they can keep that up. Thirty-two wins, twenty-seven of them by knockout. This man means business. He's demonstrating well-rounded skills, capitalizing on many countering opportunities. Ali's plunge three blasting blows. If he's not careful. He'll be eating counters all day. Wow, he's off balance now. That counter haymaker surprised him. This power fighter may not move like Sugar Ray, but all they have to do is plant those feet, and you better not get in the way of the punches after that. Frazier won't last long if he continues to eat combos like that. He's looking for his opponent to make mistakes and help him out. He looks to shatter his opponent with that blow. Frazier's not looking so hot. For all you boxing fans that love knockouts, don't go anywhere, because we may see one shortly. He lands a brutal uppercut, then two more solid shots for good measure. ready to go. Frazier's <laughs> down. That punch put him on the canvas. Listen to the crowd react. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ten seconds left on the clock. 
Ali's letting his opponent drive him crazy. The taunting is throwing him off. Ali's taking this round hands down. Ali will not relent and just keeps winning rounds. Let's examine how he took that last one. Let's see that replay in slow-mo. Wow, look at the big left hand take command. It's gonna be an early night for us. You look good out there, son. Let's build on it for the next round. I want you to mix it up with this guy tonight. He's not built like you are, and he doesn't pack the kind of punch you do. Get inside, go to work, and let's try to hurt this guy. You freaking gave that round away! Where's your head at? I don't care how hard this guy hits. You make him miss, and he can't hurt you. Let's bob and weave and counterpunch, just like we worked on in the gym. Let's look to outscore him and take this next round. Round number two is about to begin. He goes in with a hard hook of his own. Nice work as that hook to the body sparked a beautiful three-punch combo. Good execution. He puts together two nice punches. Good execution on that two-punch combination by Ali. Ali clocks his opponent with two vicious shots. Muhammad Ali's counter uppercut lands full force and stuns his adversary. He just made his opponent look silly there. Great move, gets his opponent off balance and leaves a big opening for that tremendous punch. He's looking like a strong wind may be able to tip him over right now. You can see that he's struggling. Incredible combination breaks his spirit and drops him to the floor. He's not going to get up quickly from that one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't know how much more punishment he can take. The rest of this round is going to be a real test for Frazier. What his opponent has in the speed department also may be a liability in the power department. Ali's punch downstairs really hurt his opponent. Very nice punch landed there. Frazier has to do a better job of protecting himself. Ali can't put two punches together any better than that. Smoking Joe's taking a jab to the body. If you see your opponent's hands tight to the body and face like that, taking small steps forward, then he's probably looking to get way on the inside. That's bully fighting. Great display of contempt by Smokin' Joe. I'm not surprised at all that he's warning of an impending stoppage in tonight's fight. If you can't protect yourself, the referee has to do it for you. He's got a massive fat lip now. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. You can't hit what you can't see, and that's how Ali sums up his offense and defense. Ten seconds still remain. <laughs> Muhammad Ali's got to be thrilled with how well that round went. Ali's clearly in control of this fight. Here, we'll take a look at what he did in that last round. Let's get another angle on some of the last round's action from Ali. <laughs> If that round I don't start, you know, pal, if you fought every round like that one, you'd never lose. You're a lot stronger than this guy. Oh. What's going on out there? 
get it together, and let's go get this next round. I need you to fight smart. Keep your feet going. Move away from his power and work your jab. The third round is underway. <laughs> Muhammad Ali with a forceful two-punch combination. Stinging right hook. Relaxed arms on his toes. He's got the speed and he definitely knows it. You know, before he started calling himself the greatest of all time, many were calling him the Louisville Lip. All these mouth moves quicker than his hands. It looks like some swelling is starting to form around the left eye. Boom, and an overpowering haymaker causes some concern for Frazier. Counter punch rocks him. His legs quiver. He may be ready to go. Where did that come from? Huge haymaker puts him to rest on the canvas. One, two, three. He's going to find himself in a world of trouble if he gets knocked down again by Joe Frazier. He works the jab. Good jab lands ahead of the right hand. We're seeing a classic power fighter here, folks. Feet planted and set, hands tight to the body and ready to explode. Frazier's got one of the most aggressive and relentless styles in the boxing biz. Watch out for this guy. A jab combo lands. just needs to stay relaxed. He's got his opponent right where he wants him. And if he can land some good, clean punches, he's going to put his opponent on the floor. Razor's <laughs> one. and he really saved himself a trip to the canvas right there. And we're down to the final 10 seconds. Joe Frazier's owned the ring for that round. Take another look at the round. Pretty obvious who won on the scorecards there. Look how he connects with that precisely placed left hand. Amazing shot takes him down. That cut ain't gonna take care of him. Don't worry about that round. Let's focus on getting this next one. Come on, son. You're letting your pal across the ring get back into his fight. I need you to stop being so wild. Get disciplined. Look for your shots and stop just swinging even when you don't have a shot. Take some air, nice and deep. You did some business in that last round. All right, we're behind on the cards, but this guy's running out of steam. Keep making him look bad, and he's gonna punch himself out. Now just remember to throw those counters and tag him. All right, here we go with the fourth round. Joe Frazier's gotta realize he's in real trouble now. The ref only threatens to stop the fight when he sees one fighter is in a severe amount of danger. Good counter hook as he looks to dictate the pace of the combat. Great counter skill. He's pounded hard by a devastating haymaker. It sends him to the floor. What a shot. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight. Frazier's looking to try to get his legs back underneath him. He may have to try to hang on till the end of this round. I'm not sure, but he just may be out on his feet. He doesn't look like he knows... An uppercut lands Wash and sends him down yet again. I can't believe how hard he hit him. That's got to be one of the most destructive body shots I've ever seen. From one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. Ali came out and closed the show with an amazing display of power. You can hear the crowd going crazy after that knockout. By way of EA Sports World of Boxing and the Aragon Ballroom for the hundreds in attendance, here are the boxers for tonight's contest. From Pensacola, Florida, Roy Jones Jr. And round one is underway. You can go to all the boxing gyms, read all the books and magazines, and I'm willing to bet you, you'll never find a shred of info on how to fight like Roy Jones. He's one of a kind. His style is entirely his own. Holyfield won't last long if he continues to eat combos like that. Hard right to the head. Roy Jones lashed out with a well-placed triple shot flurry. He's looking for his opponent to make mistakes and help him out. Sensational counterpunch by Holyfield. A good punch finds its target. Roy Jones with a jab and a straight right hand. Nice counter. He's looking to take advantage of the other guy's mistakes. Big hook catches him squarely in the head. He thumps him with a three-punch combination. It all started with a vicious hook. That's what a speed guy does, folks. He dances around you. He can make you look like a fool out there. Nice right hook by Roy Jones Jr. He's using the counter, looking to control the rhythm of the fight. Roy Jones Jr. ripped his opponent with a vicious hook, and the crowd loves it. Nice shot. He sits back, picks his spot, and unloads. Hook to the head lands flush for Jones. He's just a well-rounded boxer. Good speed, power, great balanced footwork. Roy Jones Jr.'s found an early opening and unleashed a big combo. He looks to press the issue with a big punch. Evander might be the man of the good book, but I doubt he's turning the other cheek tonight. Nice two-shot combo. What a bomb. Straight upstairs. It looks like some swelling is starting to form around the left eye. Jones with a nice clean combination. Oh, what force behind a devastating haymaker. Roy Jones landed an aggressive counter hook. 
If you're gonna come straight forward, he'll step back and counter. Roy Jones looking good, coming back with great counters. Ouch, a thudding power shot lands by Roy. Ten seconds left to go. Jones Jr.'s own the ring for that round. Let's look at the replay of another round dominated by Jones. Jones did some interesting things in that last round. Let's take another look. If that man I don't start looking back. You look good out there, son. Let's build on it for the next round. In and out, side to side. I want to see you always moving. Use your speed, outwork this guy, stay throwing combos, and you can beat this guy to the punch all night long. What's going on out there? Get it together, and let's go get this next round. Look, I need you to cut off the ring. Keep him in front of you, and make sure he trades with you. Block his shots, and come back with some hard counterpunch. Round two is underway. He goes downstairs with a merciless shot to the body. Roy Jones Jr. with a forceful two-punch combination. Relaxed arms on his toes. He's got the speed and he definitely knows it. In recent years, Roy Jones Jr. has held that pound-for-pound pound title. Of course, that honor was first conceived to accommodate and reward superhuman abilities in the ring, regardless of weight class. Impeccably timed counter hook. He takes full advantage of his opponent's missteps. Roy Jones launched a counter uppercut as his opponent tried to work inside. He can see his opponent's punches coming, and he counters with a wonderfully timed shot. He's demonstrating well-rounded skills, capitalizing on many countering opportunities. Good classic boxing style there. That's the kind of style you'll see in boxing textbooks. Oh, Field's the real deal. He's never ducked anybody. Evander clocks his opponent with two vicious shots. He's scoring well with that counter. It's almost like he knows what his opponent's going to throw before he throws it. Jones Jr. comes with a crushing shot to his opponent's head. An incredible uppercut connect presenting a problem for Holyfield. He winces after that one. He's putting his punches together well. He counters successfully with a hard hook. He returns fire and lands a punch of his own. Roy Jones with a big counter that looks to stop his opponent in his tracks. Hard shot. Big left to the body that he seems to take well. Jones Jr. can't put two punches together any better than that. Ten seconds left on the clock. A huge uppercut for Jones. Roy's corner needs to keep the energy up so he can have another round like that one. This fight is becoming increasingly one-sided. Let's take another look at what was an easy round for Jones. Let's get another angle on some of the last round's action from Jones. That laceration about his eye ain't looking too pretty. Let's see if we can't make the right side of his face. I like what I saw out there. Now let's focus on getting more of the same. Your friend across the way is well-trained boxer, and he's going to look to dictate the action. I want you to throw the one-two whenever he looks to set up. Disrupt him and get him off his game.
The only good thing about the last round is that it's over. Use your skills. You trained to be a smart fighter. Now I want you to go in there and fight like one. Work the jab. Move away from his power and counter hard when he comes after you. It's time for round number three. He returns with an uppercut of his own. He makes him pay for going after him there. Roy Jones taking the best of that exchange as he lands a hard counter. Good execution. He puts together two nice punches. He nails him with a hard counter. What his opponent has in the speed department also may be a liability in the power department. Roy Jones taking care of business, countering effectively and doing damage. Holyfield counterwhacks his opponent. Hard counter lands flush for Holyfield. He gets caught with two quick punches. Roy Jones Jr.'s on target tonight. Great power shot upstairs. Two punch combination lands flush. You know, I love this guy. Nothing flashy, but solid all around boxing skills. He needs to cover up at the end of his punches or he's gonna get tagged all day. Roy Jones Jr. has tagged him. Great one-two combination. Powerful, vicious body shot. Nice execution. Two punches land hard. Well-placed combination. Folks, you're in for a real treat. Roy Jones Jr. has so much talent and skill, he could donate half of it to charity and still dominate most of the fighters out there. Nice two-punch combination lands with authority. Powerful uppercut lands. Holy Fields a flat-out warrior inside those ropes, people. This is gonna be a fight to the finish. Tough shot, great way to come back. Effective punching by Roy. Good quick combination. That's a two punch combination by Holyfield. Great right hand. Oops, leaves himself open to get tagged with a counter. Only 10 seconds left to go in this round. And that's the end of the round. This fight is very close. Let's take another look at that last round and see if we can spot just what kind of effort we're seeing from Jones. There was some good action in the last round. Let's take another look. His right eye is cut. Let's fix it before... You box great that round, son. He got you good in the right eye. Stay calm. You're letting him dictate the action. We gotta take control into next round. You're behind, kid, but you ain't done. Look at that bum's right eye. It's a bloody mess. Now I want you to make it even bloody. Welcome, everyone, to round number four. Holyfield weathers that big shot. He's in great shape. He returns fire. I like his footwork out there tonight. Speed guys need that extra conditioning so they can keep that up. Clean shot thrown by Roy. You know, although he may not have any one outstanding skill, he doesn't have any glaring weaknesses either. He's a well-rounded opponent. Roy Jones Jr. wails away with the uppercut. Boom, he's picking his spots beautifully. He squarely lands two nice shots. And he comes back with an authoritative uppercut. Evander connects with a good jab. 
Criticism has been that Jones's fights just aren't that competitive. Well, that's not his problem. He's just too damn good for his own good. Jones Jr. is taking that shot well. Now here's a man who has stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best heavyweights of the past two decades. Incredible. I'm not surprised at all that he's warning of an impending stoppage in tonight's fight. If you can't protect yourself, the referee has to do it for you. makes a concerted effort to take the other guy's wind away. Evander Holyfield's looking to go to work here. Holyfield catches him with a punch. Two exploding punches. Roy Jones doing all he can to stand up. He's in real trouble and the crowd roars begging for a knockout. Power punch taken by Roy Jones Jr. I'm not sure, but he just may be out on his feet. He doesn't look like he knows where he is right now, and he's fighting on pure boxing instinct. Holyfield with a jab upstairs and then a hard right hand to the midsection. Only 10 seconds until the bell rings. Holyfield's got to be thrilled with how well that round went. Evander Holyfield will not relent and just keeps winning rounds. Let's examine how he took that last one. Why don't we take another look at some of the more exciting moments of the last round for Holyfield. All right, let's get the cut patched up. We're going to need that right eye later. I don't want to see too many more rounds like that one. You're not listening. He's making that cut on your left eye worse. Keep your guard up. Circle away from his right. Keep firing the jab. That's what I like to see. Now breathe in, and let's get ready to take it to... Round five is underway. His right-hand commitment to the body punch to really slow down his opponent. He turns over that punch nicely. Holyfield's punch downstairs really hurt his opponent. Jones Jr.'s been popped with a solid blow. He throws the body shot looking to take away his opponent's energy. Nice jab, followed by a hard right to the body. Jones Jr. is grimacing after that hook to his midsection. He gets the jab going. Good two-punch combo. Stiff jab lands up top.
two hard punches crash into their target. He looks to build off of that shot. Evander Holyfield thrown a nice jab that lands on target. They've got 10 seconds to go. Roy Jones Jr. is taking this round hands down. Roy has really taken over this fight. Let's take another look at how he fared in that last round. Let's get another look at some of the action from the last round. Need that laceration taken care of. Take a deep breath. Look real good in there, man. What's your game plan out there? Because it sure ain't what we talked about. Now breathe deep and listen up. Okay, we got it. The ref can't take too much more of this. He could barely see out of that right eye. A few more left hooks to his eye, and this fight is ours. Round number six is underway. There's a nasty punch. The real deal. He's gonna have to get medical attention for his fists if he keeps landing power shots as hard as that one. There's a huge left hand downstairs. Incredible, incredible punch landed there. Two punches land in rapid succession for Jones. Roy Jones was able to stick an uppercut in there. Roy's nailed him. Nice fast combination for Holyfield. I don't know how much more punishment he thinks his right eye can take. Devastating hook gets in for Jones. You've got to wonder how hard he trained for this fight. Conditioning is becoming a real issue for Holyfield. Things aren't looking so good for this guy. His trainer's going to have to pump him back up and get him ready for the next round. Tremendous two-punch combination. Evander Holyfield's down after taking a huge shot. He got clobbered, went down, but got up and is looking to fight his way back from the knockdown. Holyfield's badly swollen mouth is going to be a target for the rest of the night. The real deal's got to realize he's in real trouble now. The ref only threatens to stop the fight when he sees one fighter is in a severe amount of danger. Roy Jones Jr. with a clean punch. Nice, hard left hand. Good execution on that two-punch combination by Roy. Holyfield's health and energy are playing against him now. Will he make it through the round? Holyfield's legs are trembling. How much longer can he stay on his feet? The hook is on target for Jones. That bell signifies the end of the round and the halfway mark of this fight. 
Roy Jones Jr. won't have anything to worry about if he can keep up this blistering pace. Oh my, there's something he doesn't want to see over and over tonight. Roy Jones was involved in some compelling moments in that last round. Let's look at some of them now. I need the swelling on his right eye to go down before the ref and the ringside doctor in our night short. Get on it now. The bell sounds and we're ready to kick off round number seven. Evander Holyfield's been hit with an uppercut that had the force of a big rig behind it. He looks tired. He's doing nothing but flailing. He's really been beaten up in the ring tonight. He's taken a great deal of punishment and I think he's right at the threshold. One more big punch and he's going to be on his back. Roy Jones Jr.'s fist shoots to his midsection and does big-time damage. His mouth is swollen beyond belief. Very nice punch landed there. Holyfield seems to shake that one off well. Boom! Now that haymaker clearly sends a message from Jones. Roy Jones Jr. Huge flurry blasts him to the canvas. He goes down hard, and this fight could be over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I thought this fight might be over after he went down, but he got up and is showing true grit. Surprising uppercut by Jones. right hook. If his corner can't do anything about the beating his eyes taken so far, it's probably going to turn into the focal point of this fight. He takes that punch well, showing good heart. Bang! Big hook lands by Roy Jones Jr. Uppercut catches him flush. He's taken a beating here tonight, and he's looking pretty damaged now. His legs aren't steady anymore, and if he gets hit with one more big punch, he's gonna go. And a vicious haymaker catches him upstairs. Truly, that round was exactly what his corner wanted to see from Jones. Roy's clearly in control of this fight. Here, we'll take a look at what he did in that last round. This KO Super Punch is brought to you by Everlast. That left eye has seen better days, but we need to try and... Draw some wind into the bottom of your lung. Suck in a deep breath, son. What were you doing out there? He's gonna try and run us ragged out there. Here's what I want you to do. The fighters are ready and round number eight is underway. He shrugs that one off easily. Holyfield's landed a big shot and his opponent's right eye has swollen completely. Jones Jr. knows exactly what he's doing. Another sharp hook to the midsection. 
Authoritative right hook. He's just got to find a way to survive until the end of the round. He's looking like he could go at any moment, and whatever he does, he just has to avoid getting tagged right now. He's tagging his face with the jab. Cut connects, and down goes Jones! Let's have another look at that knockdown brought to you by Everlast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know how much more punishment he can take. The rest of this round is going to be a real test for Jones. Evander Holyfield with an assertive left hook. He throws a hard shot right in there. The crowd can sense that he's on the verge of collapsing. I'm seeing a KO for Holyfield. Roy Jones followed up with a smashing shot. This is what we expected to see. You can see that he's hurting now. He's sluggish and he seems to get weaker every second he stays in the ring. I don't think he's going to be on his feet much longer. And if he lets himself get down. Oh, Jones crashes down as he gets clocked by a hard hook. Take another look at that. Down made possible by Everlast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ha! I need the swelling on the. Take a seat, shrug it off, and. Let's get focused. Good job. Breathe it. Round number nine is ready to begin. I can't believe how much damage he's taken right in the mouth. He just needs to stay relaxed. He's got his opponent right where he wants him. And if he can land some good, clean punches, he's going to put his opponent on the floor. Oh, Jones! This is uppercut rips into him, and he falls another time. Oh, he's hurt. Let's see if he can get up after that vicious blow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's over. You're out. Holy Fields really enjoying this moment. He looked great here tonight with that stunning knockout victory. His next opponent needs to study this tape if he wants to stand a chance.